me ask you this. Would you blame the fire department for your house burning down if an angry mob did everything they could to block the use of all nearby fire hydrants? Probably not. But when it comes to the sluggish economic recovery, why do so many Americans place the blame solely on President Obama's shoulders when an angry mob, in this case, that would be the Senate and congressional Republicans, has purposely blocked every single jobs bill the president has proposed? And when you have GOP leaders saying things like this, Our top political priority over the next two years should be to deny President Obama a second term. It's easy to see why the economic recovery hasn't been as, let's say, robust as it should be. It's crystal clear, even to a blind man, that the GOP has spent most of their time playing a high stakes political game, something I call hillbill politics. I know what you're thinking. Specifics, Anthony. Where are the specifics? Granted, in October 2011, Republicans defeated President Obama's $447 billion jobs bill and a smaller one that would have benefited teachers and first responders. A month later, the GOP blocked another bill that would have had tens of thousands of our nation's construction workers fixing our crumbling infrastructure. Still not convinced? Like a bad case of athlete's foot fungus that just won't die, the Republican obstructionism continued into 2012 with the GOP blocking a bill that would have given tax breaks for companies that insource jobs and eliminated tax deductions for those who outsource them. Recently, Senate Republicans even used the filibuster to kill a bill they co-sponsored that would have helped Iraq and Afghanistan war veterans get jobs. That's right, these GOP senators wrote the bill, then voted against it. For a party that professes to put the American people and the country first, they sure do have a funny way of showing it. Our top political priority over the next two years should be to deny President Obama a second term. Come election day, Mitch McConnell and his fellow Republicans might get their wish. But will it have been at the expense of many voters who waited three and a half years for Congress to do what's patriotic? and help get Americans back to work? And what's the logic in that? See you next time with another dose of Pure Logic.